Researchers in Sydney believe they've found a key ingredient to a longer, happier life. According to our next guests, it revolves around mental silence. Now, you can achieve it while you're walking the dog, swimming, cooking and many other pastimes and chores. Matter and of fact, I got it now. Less than 15 minutes a day is all you really need. To explain this, we're joined by Dr Ramesh, Ramesh Manocha from Sydney Uni and Rob Hutchin, whose life meditation changed. Good morning to you both, James. Yeah. Ramesh, what did this study find? Well, it's one of the uh, first of its kind in the world and what we found was in long-term meditators mm -hmm. in Australia, uh, people who meditated for at least a couple of years mm -hmm. regularly uh, and up to 35 years regularly had better physical and mental health uh, than the general Australian population. And how long were these people meditating each day, Ramesh? Oh, well, we looked at an experience called mental silence or thoughtless awareness, which is mm -hmm. part of a, uh, which is the target experience, I suppose you could say, within this technique called Sahaja Yoga. And uh, most of these people were experiencing that state of mental silence a few times uh, a day. Yeah, OK. okay. So, uh, I mean, there must have been other studies done into this. What, what, what made this study, uh, you know, so, so different and the findings you think so exciting? Well, most studies on meditation have looked at the short-term effects in novices, mm -hmm. but uh, our study looked at the long-term effects because the original idea of meditation is that you should adopt it as a daily practice for the, for the whole of your life. Mm. It's a lifestyle mm. change. But no one's actually looked at that long-term impact, and so that's the unique aspect of our research. OK, now some of our viewers might be imagining, you know, incense, flowing robes, the little triangle that they used to use in a country practice mm. membership. Yeah, the right? Doors riders on the Storm album playing in the background. <laughs> Yeah. Rob, yep. it's not uh, like that, is it? Uh, no, obviously there's certain uh, uh, shonky people that come out of India that promote that because that's what they're selling. But no, we're just normal people uh, doing normal things, you know, mortgages and kids and the full catastrophe, you know. And tell us why, why you um, turned to meditation. Oh, I was just a really naughty boy. You know, <laughs> yeah. Wild, wild ways. Um, yeah, leaving no uh, particular stone unturned, and and uh, just yeah, you, looking for. We should. You you had had um, been using drugs. You had you sort of got off the rails. Absolutely no abuse. stone un left unturned. Okay, no yeah. stone yeah. left unturned. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so you needed to turn your life around. I was really naughty. Mum didn't know how to handle me. So at sort of 15, she said, "Look, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. There's the door." Very loving, but totally out of control I was. So, so how did you get into meditation Rob? Um, I was just looking at a lot of various uh, personal growth techniques and lots of other things and then all of a sudden I, I started doing this technique and all the sort of uh, if you like risk-taking behavior sort of evaporated overnight and mm. I just stopped. There was no withdrawal, there was no come down, there was no mm. anything else. It was just it just evaporated, it just stopped. It's not that easy. I've tried to do this. It's quite difficult Look, to meditate. The, the real irony is that you don't have to do that much to make it work. It's very, very simple, it's very subtle, and most of the other techniques are sort of, you know, they're, they're sort of like shunt meditation. They, mm. they, they get you to think about all the mm. rubbish that happened, you know, and. Ramesh, you know, most people, as, as Sam mentioned, think about it being some kind of mystical experience. But, you know, in fact, the, the mental effect. Is, is, is produced by just physical effects ultimately, isn't it? I mean, it's about the breathing and the way you hold your posture and then that leading you to mindfulness, isn't it? Well, actually, it's different to mindfulness. It's about mind emptiness. Right. And uh, the relaxation process is important because it calms the body. It reduces the stress chemicals that drive excessive thinking activity. But ultimately, it's about shutting off that background mental chatter that we all have, the thing that distracts us and makes us forget why we walked into a room uh, to get something or keeps us awake at night when we're trying to get to sleep. It's about switching that off, which mm -hmm. is more than just mindfulness. Yeah, it's okay, it's about emptying silence. the mind, yes. really. Yeah. It's remarkably easy and uh, children are very good at it. In fact, most kids can do it, but as we get older we forget the skill and so the technique of Sahaja Yoga we found is very simple and effortless way to uh, to remember that yep. uh, ability. We're going to leave it there. So if anyone's interested in uh, in following the uh, Sahaja Yoga uh, technique or, or finding out about the study, wh where do we find it? Freemeditation.com.au. They can learn it free of charge online. It yep. takes five to ten minutes. Do it every day. It's Beauty. a skill for life. Freemeditation.com.au. Correct. I'm getting on that later on today. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Thanks Ramesh. Good on you. Can you teach me? Please. In the break. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Great to talk. <laughs>